Hey everyone, it's Inspired Gentlemen, and today we're going to be working on a cute cat hoodie tutorial. So you can use this just as a pajama set tutorial too, it doesn't have to be a cat. This is for everyone who's looking for a very simple and effective pajama outfit that makes them feel like they're their best cuteness. So without further ado, let's get started on this tutorial, shall we? To start on the pattern piece shirt for the hoodie, I'm going to take a comfortable shirt as a pattern outline. What I'm doing is I'm actually putting the shirt halfway on the fold of the fabric so that when I cut out the pattern piece of the white that I have, it's going to be a front part or the back part of the shirt. Don't worry about the neck so much or on the neck collar area, we'll fix that later for the hoodie. Now I'm going to be using the shirt of the sleeve part to actually make the sleeve of the hoodie itself. This is good for people who don't know how to make patterns or they don't really want to go through the process of it. You can use a comfortable shirt and it's much more easier because it's already there and already fits you to your measurements. Now for the sleeves I actually use just only two pieces of fabric for one arm of mine and the other arm. So you should have one whole pattern for the left and right arm. And this is what you should have. You should have two parts of the sleeves and then you should have two parts of the center front and the center back of your shirt and they should all both be on a fold. It's easier like this because you get more space just like a regular hoodie. Once I have that I'm gonna take both of my front and back of the hoodie and I'm gonna actually line up one of the sides with sewing pins and then I will sew it so it has a fold to it. Now that I've pinned it down with my sewing pins, before I actually sew it, I'm going to actually pin down the hem of it with my gray material, just to make it a little more pop out. You don't have to do this, it's optional. Okay, so this can be tricky if you haven't sewn on the sleeve before, so pay attention please. For sleeves, I've always had a problem. So this is how I make it easier. Instead of just sewing it all the way around and then messing up, I usually actually pin it down with sewing pins first to see if that the armpit and the actual shoulder actually lines up to the sleeve of the shirt. Then after I've pinned it down, then I sew down one side, making sure it's correct. Once it's correct, then you can sew the rest of the sleeve. And then once you have this method, you can continue the same method on the other arm sleeve. And for the hemming, all I really did was just fold in one side. So on the right side, it looks like it's folded in, but you can do it on both sides. Okay, so here comes a little bit of the fun part, or one of the fun parts, is making your hoodie. To make the hoodie, I actually, I haven't made one in my entire life, so I had to go off a visual perspective. What I did was I looked at other patterns of how people did theirs, and the way I did mine, I measured my length and my width of my side profile face before I continued, and then I used an outline from how I saw it. So mine is 9 inches wide and then 14 to 16 or 17 inches long. And you can actually make it shorter once you've actually made the hoodie. But that's the pattern piece for the side profile. Once I have that, I'm using two layers for each side of the face. So it's not too thin when you wear the hoodie. Now to finish off making the patterns for the hoodie, I used a rectangular shape, which was 16 inches long and then three inches or three and a half inches wide which I should have made it at least four or five inches just to let you guys know that's how your measurements should be for the middle part I used two rectangular shapes for the inside of the hoodie to connect it together so make sure if you don't want to do that make it a little bit wider now once I have that I'm actually going to sew the hoodie all together and then attach it to the actual shirt of the hoodie also, don't forget a back piece of the back of the hoodie for the back neck part, which I forgot to mention. At this point, now all you need to do is reunite your hoodie to the shirt and pin it down with your sewing pins to get started sewing on it. All 
Alright, so finish up your hoodie and we're going to get started on the bottoms, which are the matching shorts. The shorts are actually very easy, believe it or not. All you're really doing is taking the two parts of the front of your legs and doing the two patterns for the front and two patterns for the back. So while you're doing the two patterns for each side of your leg, the layers that you're cutting out for each one should be two layers thick. Why? You want that because you don't want your shorts to be too transparent or too thin. Not good for when you're sleeping. Once all four parts have been cut out, you can pin the fronts and the backs together. While pinning the backs together, I added a rectangular shape for the middle crotch area while I wear the shorts. And all this here is I'm just doing the front parts now after I finish doing the back pieces. Now you're going to need to line up all your pattern pieces together once they've been pinned up. So now I'm just going to line the front and the back together to make sure one isn't bigger than the other. Once I have that, pin it all together and sew that baby up. To finish off the shorts, I actually hemmed down the leg openings and added a waistband. To add a waistband, it's the same procedures that you use to actually make the hem for your short sleeve. What I did was I added that gray material as a waistband and left an opening toward the back. Then I used an elastic band to go inside of the elastic shorts and I used a safety pin to help wiggle room its way through. Once I've wiggle room its way through, I made both of the elastic bands from the ending of it and the beginning of it together after it's already been through the waistband. And then I'm going to sew it down. Once I've sewn down my elastic, you can sew down your actual waistband and then close it off. Now this is how you do the actual structure of the hoodie and shorts. Keep watching if you want to do the kitty tutorial part. Here come the designs. So I did a paw print and I added the little finger parts for the paw and I cut it out once I've drew on that and the pocket piece. Once the pocket piece has been cut out along with the paw print, I'm placing it down with my sewing pins on where exactly I want to sew it on for the hoodie. To make the cat ears I made, I actually used a folded piece of fabric and made a right triangle out of it. Using that, I opened up the folded piece and it equals just a regular triangle. Make two of those to make one cat ear. Now once you have all your designs together, you can get ready to sew. Make sure it's pinned in place. So now to the sewing part. For the cat ears, I did a zigzag stitch all the way around one of the ears for the two pieces and then I turned it inside out. The same thing applies to each cat ear you use. But for the whiskers and the eyes and the nose, I use a closer zigzag stitch so it looks like it's imprinted to the actual hoodie itself. Yay, last part of the DIY. Turn your cat ears inside, pinning it to the hoodie and sewing it down and you are finished. Okay, thanks everybody so much for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you out just as much as it helped me. And I hope you enjoyed watching and wearing your cute little Kigurumi kind of styled pajama and hoodie. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you ladies and gents. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. So don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness. And it's only up to you to make everyday beautiful. And I'll see you all later. Bye! Oh, <laughs>